on it was the slogan, You were born to bring a fairy tale to life. But even the old witch Baba Yaga from Russian folklore could not have predicted a night quite like it. Russia were written off before this tournament. Vladimir Putin himself gave them no chance. Yet here they are, the lowest ranked nation in the finals, in the last eight. It took penalties to do it, and a new star was born in CSKA Moscow. Keeper Igor Akinfev, who saved two in the shootout against 2010 winners Spain. Somehow that seemed fitting in the land of the legendary Lev Yashin, the Black Spider. But no one saw it coming. No one except the players themselves. Getty, at Russia, celebrating the win over Spain along with Fairy Tale Banner. No one believed we would get out of the group. Mario Fernandez, CSK, a Moscow fullback, they had been booed and jeered off just a few weeks ago when they drew 1 to 1 with Turkey to go seven games without a win, the worst run of the post Soviet era. But CSK, a Moscow fullback, Mario Fernandez, an adopted Russian born in Brazil who does not even speak the language, insists they never stopped believing. Before the tournament, no one thought to get here. No one believed we would get out of the group. Fernandez said, only a few in the media supported us, but the whole team believed in ourselves, knew we would fight. With everyone helping each other, we knew we could get something, now we've knocked out Spain, one of the favorites. We just need some calmness. It's game by game, step by step now. We deserve a lot of credit, Putin himself was a skeptic. Before the tournament he asked the team only to play with dignity, and in a phone call with coach Stanislav Shershisov. Before the Spain game, praised the team for having already accomplished the impossible, the Russian president is enjoying this World Cup. He has sneaked out a rise in the pension age and raised taxes while everyone's attention has been on the football. But even he must be surprised at the scale of the transformation taking place in the nation's major cities. There are people in Moscow who swear they haven't seen anything like it in their lifetimes. Car horns blared, girls in traditional dress danced in the street. With strangers and children watched it all in wide-eyed amazement. Russians are not used to smiling. They find it suspicious. But they can't stop smiling now. Even the granny draped in the Russian flag staggering home at 1am with a kebab was grinning broadly from ear to ear. You could hear them singing, R-O-S-S-I-Y, R-O-S-S-I-Y, long into the early hours. And there were fans from all over the world joining in. Gay Spanish players react after losing to Russia on penalties Fernandez, who only started playing for Russia last. April after gaining citizenship in 2016, said, to see the support here, everyone is happy. Everyone was good. For sure, it's my best moment in football, I thank God for getting here. Without him, it wouldn't be possible. I'm happy to have helped the team, and just to add to the fairy tale, the Russians, shockingly, didn't even practice penalties. You wouldn't have guessed from the way Fedor Smolov, Sergei Ignashevich, Alexander Golovin, and Denis Cheryshev all dispatched them, we didn't practice penalties, Fernandez said. But Akinfev is a top goalkeeper. He's one of the best, not only in Russia but in the whole world. In football, Russia has never done something as big as this. The whole country is happy and supporting us. I'm so happy that the people are happy. This is the first time Russia has reached the World Cup quarterfinals as an independent nation, and they are proud of it. They could even meet England now in the semi-finals. But Fernandez can't help but dream even bigger. Of course, after Russia, Brazil are my team. It's the country where I was born. But I hope they don't get to the final.